High drama at the Mitchell Tennis Center today, where a change in conference didn't mean the Aggies could go a full season without facing the Longhorns. But Saturday's win felt a little sweeter than most against Texas. When you play te Texas in tiddlywinks, it matters. And uh, it was a great college tennis match, and we were fortunate enough to win. And uh, it's a shame we don't play them all the time because I think uh, it's the best rivalry or one of the best rivalries in college sports. <laughs> As to be honest, is there's no words to describe that feeling, you know, because I'm not just celebrating for myself. I, I did it for the whole team, for the school. You know, obviously the A&M and the Longhorn rivalry, you know, it's just so big. It's just a special thing, especially that now we, since we moved to the SEC. It's just a great, it's just a great feeling all, all around. I'm just so happy for our guys because they've fought really hard. We've uh, We've had a couple setbacks and some 4-3 matches, and for us to go get over the hump against a really good Texas team, uh, come back and win those last two matches on the court, and then fittingly won that last match 7-6 in the third. Uh, it's just a great feeling, for, and I know our guys are super excited about getting to go to Illinois, and I'm super proud of them. Now with Saturday's win, the Aggies have a little bit of time to soak that up before they head out to Illinois for the Sweet 16 and getting one step closer to that national championship. Reporting at the Mitchell Tennis Center, Chris Vlahos, Aggie Sports Overtime.